Hello and welcome to the channel. It has been confirmed that the presidential candidate of Labour Party, Peter Obi, was detained on his arrival in London on Good Friday. Subscribe, like, share and comment. Let's get you the details of this breaking news. How Obi was detained in London by aid. For several hours last Friday, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, LP, Mr. Peter Obi, was detained by British immigration officers at Heathrow Airport, his aide, Diran Onifade, confirmed yesterday. He was on his way to the United Kingdom, UK, to celebrate Easter, a statement in Abuja by the head of Bidati Media, Diran Onifade, said. The media office claimed Obi was pulled out by immigration officers for interrogation because he was being impersonated in London. However, the Nigerian High Commission in the UK was yet to be informed, a diplomatic source said last night. When the nation reached out to UK Borders Agency for its reaction through government digital service on Obi's arrest, it replied, Thank you for taking the time to contact gov.uk user support. Your request, hashtag 5295511, is being reviewed by the gov.uk user support team. The statement by Onifa Day reads, The presidential candidate of the LP, Peter Obi, just back from London, UK, where he celebrated Easter as confirmed that he was harassed by London immigration officials and placed for detention, but for the spontaneous reaction of Nigerians at Etro Airport. Our Bidati Media Office can confirm that the LP presidential candidate in the February 25th presidential poll arrived at Etro Airport in London from Nigeria on Good Friday, April 7, 2023, and joined the queue for the necessary airport protocols when he was accosted by immigration official who handed him a detention note and told him to step aside. He was questioned for a long time and it was very strange for a man who lived for over a decade in that country. Since Obi's face was already an international frame, especially for Nigerians, Africans home and in diaspora who are likely to be obedient, the people quickly raised their voices wondering why he was being delayed. The immigration officials who were also taken aback at the reaction of the people were forced to reveal that Obi was being questioned for a duplication offence, meaning that someone has been impersonating him in London. The high implication of the offence is that the impersonator could be committing all kinds of weighty crimes and other dubious acts, and it would be recorded in Obi's name. Since the impersonator is still at large, the scenario is unimaginable as Obi could be implicated in a series of forbidden acts and even be framed in a manner that could be a huge embarrassment to him, his family, his party, the obedient movement on in dead Nigeria, where he currently and indisputably remains the conscience of the people. The campaign office alleged that those urging Obi to leave the country may have planted the impersonators ostensibly to tar the ego's immaculate appearance. Diran alleged that Obi has been under attacks since the poll. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. Finally, let it be known that in the face of the flurry of unwarranted attacks on Korgs being placed in the will of rescuing our dear country, Obi strongly believes that a new Nigeria is possible where the people will be able to live in a secure and productive country they will all be proud to own. Meanwhile, the former Anambra state governor is back in the country and has continued his charity work, visiting health and educational institutions, making donations and bargain awards, the media office said. Meanwhile, the director, new media subcommittee of the Hull Progressives Congress APC Presidential Campaign Council, Femi Fanikaya Day has mocked the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, LP, Peter Obi, over a counter with immigration officers at the Heathrow Airport, United Kingdom. Fanikaya Day, in a statement via his verified Twitter handle on Wednesday, said, 
or B was accosted, detained, and deported back to Nigeria like a commoner by the British authorities. His tweet read, Accosted, detained, and deported back to Nigeria like a common criminal by the British authorities. Why didn't you say yes, Daddy, to the immigration officer? Or better still, why didn't you call the little Englander or the little diva to put in a word for you? Recall that the Obidati Presidential Campaign Office early on Wednesday released a statement explaining that Obi was allegedly harassed by immigration officers at the Etro Airport. The spokesman for the campaign council, Diran Onifade, informed that Obi was detained and questioned for a duplication offence, which suggests that someone has been impersonating Obi in London. Also, the presidential candidate of the African Action Congress, AAC, Omoyele Soware has said that there is something suspicious about the attempted arrest story of the Labour Party LP presidential candidate Peter Obi. A close associate who served under Obi while he was the governor of Anambra State, Professor Stella Okuna, disclosed this via a post on Facebook. Also, confirming the incident, the Obidati Media Office said the LP presidential candidate was questioned at the airport for a long time, which seemed quite strange considering that he had lived for over a decade in the country. Reacting via Twitter, Sowore wondered how Obi's identity was mistaken when there is a modern biometric passport with his fingerprints and biometric identity. He insisted that something suspicious is happening. He wrote, there is something suspicious about Art Peter Obi's UK immigration story because I don't see how a modern biometric passport with his fingerprints and biometric identity could lead to his being seen as an impersonator or a clone. More curious is why he is sending third parties to tell half of the story. Something fishy is going on. Hashtag revolution now. In the same vein, President Muhammadu Buhari, special assistant on digital communication, but Shia Ahmad has mocked the Labour Party LP presidential candidate Peter Obi over his detention in the United Kingdom. The Obidati Media Office had said the former governor of Anambra State was wrongly detained over alleged duplication offences allegedly committed by an impostor who is still at large. But in a post via Twitter, Bachir said the detention was unacceptable, saying Peter Obi was treated like a common criminal in the UK. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.